Hello beautiful souls, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena Marie and today we are doing a pick a card reading on what are the major blessings that is coming to you um, in 2023. Um, before I start this reading, like this video for the energy um, exchange, subscribe, click that bell notification to get notified every time I upload a new YouTube video. Um, by the way, I am available for personal readings. I am not doing personal readings in the month of May. So if you've been wanting a personal reading with me, now's your chance to get one before I'm completely booked for the month of April. Um, my website is divinefeminine777.com. I'm also doing an extended reading um, on this video. So if you would like to also watch the extended reading, after you watch this video, um, the link is in my bio. Um, it's only $11.11 per month on my Patreon for, you know, for you guys to view the extended readings. Um, but yeah, it's only $11 per month for the membership. Um, but yeah, all right, I'm getting, I'm getting a little tongue, tongue tied right now. All right, so, and also, I will never reach out to you. I will never message you saying, hey, do you want a personal reading? Or um, I will never ask you for money or nothing like that. If you get any accounts um, using my face, pretending to be me, you know, what not, whatever and whatnot, please block them, report them. Um, don't message me about it because I will not respond. Um, but yeah. All right, so please pick one of these three groups. This is group one with the pyrite. Group two with, I think this is angelite. And group three with, I forgot what is the stone, but this is a beautiful stone. I forgot. <laughs> I literally forgot the name of it. It's a, just, just say heart stone, okay? um timestamps are in the description um pause this video if you need to take three um deep breaths uh choose with your intuition not the pile that looks more appealing not the crystal that looks more appealing and yeah um i will see you guys um in your pile bye for the people that selected pile number one with this beautiful pyrite, welcome to your reading. We're going to see what are some major blessings coming to you this 2023, okay? I have already pre-shuffled your cards and I have not looked at them just yet. Um, I pulled a few tarot cards, oracle cards, and yeah, let's see. Okay, so we have the Magician, Seven of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, okay. The Empress, Six of Wands, the Hair Font, Queen of Cups, wow. For your oracles, let me pull these two piles aside, okay. Hold on, you guys. Okay, for your oracle cards, we have rejoice in celebration wow we have deception and envy holy cow you guys what's going on we have take action compassion wow we have family. We have twin flame. Whoa. <laughs> you guys. Holy cow. I'm going to try to stop cursing in my videos because like I don't want to get in trouble. But like, whoa. <sighs> okay, so let me meditate on these cards real quick. Let me fix the video. Let me fix real quick hold on you guys okay so if you want to skip ahead um feel free to do so i need to meditate on these cards so i can channel the most right the most uh, the most accurate messages from spirit 
So yeah, please give me a moment. Okay, so I feel like I see multiple sources of income coming your way. I'm seeing money. I'm seeing a lot of money coming towards you this year. I'm seeing some people having a six-figure business this year. If you if you don't have a six figure business and you've been wanting a six figure business, I see that happening for you. But with the Seven of Pentacles, it's going to take some time. Um, um, a lot of you guys could be tarot readers, psychics, mediums, empaths. You could be very sensitive to energy. You could absorb a lot of energy around you. Um, for Zodiacs, I'm seeing Pisces, Sagittarius, Leo, strong, strong, strong Leo, Gemini, Cancer, and Scorpio, and Libra, okay, Sun, Moon, are rising. Um, also, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be like, oh, that doesn't have to resonate, that doesn't have to resonate, that doesn't have to resonate. People should already know that not everything is going to resonate for them, because there's this is not a personal reading this is also a collective reading but it should resonate more for you this is a pick a card but if some things don't resonate for you that just means it's for someone else if nothing i say in this reading does not resonate then please pick a different pile okay but yeah there i'm just seeing money i'm seeing social media fame I am seeing like a, some sort of fame in here, public recognition, especially with the Six of Wands right here. Like there's a lot of good things coming your way this year. Wow, you guys, the Empress, whole, oh my God, a lot of you guys are gorgeous. Let me just tell you like your hair, I don't know spirit is showing me something in my i'm seeing something in my head about your hair okay even if you're a man woman man gender doesn't matter in tarot let me just say i love your hair even if it's long curly straight or whatever there's something really unique about your hair and a lot of people like your hair is what spirit is showing me okay and I'm also seeing with the Empress right here, you could have like a good sense of style. Um, you, I feel like a lot of you guys are always dressed well, is what Spirit is showing me. I mean, maybe when you're home, you know, you just throw on whatever. But like, I feel like when you go, when you go out, when you're around people, you dress really well or you have a unique sense of style, is what Spirit is showing me right here with the Empress, okay? But... For a lot of you guys, I am seeing some sort of social media fame. Could be someone being fa becoming famous, honestly, with the Six of Wands right here. Um, I'm seeing someone becoming either some sort of actress, model, um... I'm seeing someone moving to Los Angeles to pursue their dreams that does not have to resonate, okay? I know and I I know I just said, oh, not not everything's going to resonate, but you know, that's not for everybody, but yeah. I need to stop saying that shit. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm seeing something in my head that 
Spirit is saying a lot of people from your past doubted you. A lot of people from your past thought that they were going to be in a better position than you. Um, and now, these I mean, I don't need to shit on these people. But this is what Spirit is showing me. These people from your past, they're struggling with money. Um, they don't have a good, reliable job. Like, I feel like a lot of these people are, like, working at a job that can easily replace them. Um, is what Spirit is showing me as well. I feel like a lot of these people still live with their parents or they live with family. Or there's, like, a specific person that still lives with family. They don't have a good job. But it's, like, these types of people treated you poorly in the past is what Spirit is showing me, okay? These types of people treated you very poorly. Um, I feel like, especially with the Queen of Cups right here, you are way too nice to these people, okay? I feel like these people or this specific person... Um, also, this specific person could be an ex, could be co-workers, could be family members, could be an ex-friend, an ex-best friend. Um, but I am seeing that it, there is a couple people in here that are hating on you or they will be hating on you in the future. Um, when all this happens to you this year is the spirit is showing me. Excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like these types of people took you for granted in the past they took advantage of your kindness. Um, a lot of these people trauma dumped all their problems onto you. Um, and I feel like maybe you are always giving these types of people advice. Like Spirit is saying you are way too nice to these people. And I feel like a lot of you guys learned your self-worth and you cut a lot of these people off is what Spirit is showing me. And I feel like, especially with the Queen of Cups, like, sometimes you think, like, well, did I make the right decision? Maybe I was too harsh. Maybe I made the, the hasty decision to just cut them off just like that. Or um, was I in the right to distance myself? You know, whatever. Because Queen of Cups talks about someone that is very um, emotionally immature, um, I, I do believe that the Queen of Cups is ruled by the heart chakra. Um, but Spirit is saying, no, you made the right decision. These people take advantage of other people is, Spirit, is what Spirit is showing me. And you saw their true colors and you realized your self-worth, okay? So don't feel like you're in the wrong because you walked away from these people. I'm also seeing um, there's going to be some people this year that is going to resurface from the past. And I feel like these types of people are going to guilt trip you is what Spirit is showing me as well. Like saying like, oh, you cut me off or why did you treat me like that? Or you didn't have to cut me off. You didn't have to do all that. Or I didn't do nothing to you. Or, you know, whatever. When they absolutely did. Like, I see a lot of these people gaslighting you. Is what Spirit is showing me as well. And Spirit is just saying, like, with the Six of Wands, keep it moving. Because you have a lot of blessings coming your way. Is what Spirit is showing me, okay? There's a lot of good things um, a lot of blessings coming your way this year, pile number one. Oh my gosh. We have rejoice and celebration. So a lot of, um, I'm seeing either there's going to be someone's birthday within the next week, within the next few days, or, um, a lot of you guys watching there's a lot of the there's a lot of people watching this pile right now that your birthday is just around the corner your birthday could be next month your birthday could be within the next three months i'm seeing even someone's birthday up until gemini season is what spirit is showing me okay um and i see some of you guys planning some sort of trip um for your birthday is what spirit is showing me um, or I'm just seeing a get together on your birthday or like getting together with family or friends. 
um and for those of you like you, let's say your birthday just passed or your birthday is not around the corner i am seeing some sort of celebration also this this does go with everybody i see you accomplishing something this year and i am seeing celebration i am seeing a lot of your friends your family members like i just see a lot of people being happy for you is what spirit is showing me i'm seeing you getting some sort of recognition um i'm seeing some people signing some sort of contract to be a part of something that's going to bring you a lot of success a lot of fortune um is what spirit is showing me as well um so i see someone getting a certificate this year um i'm seeing some people in here graduating either getting their high school diploma passing their GED, um, getting a degree. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of like success, honestly. And I'm just see, I'm seeing also in my head, they really want me to say this, like I'm seeing someone's family um, surprising them with some sort of surprise party for um, the type of success that you reach is what spirit is showing me with the six of wands right here like i just see um someone's family or this could be friends like someone throwing them um or if you you know your friends or you know what whoever i just see people throwing you some sort of party because they're so happy for you because you reach some sort of milestone is what spirit is saying as well okay wow you guys we have deception and envy. So <laughs> there's a lot of people from your past that are going to be very envious of you because of the success that you're reaching is what spirit is showing me because a lot of these people have, and I, I'm so tired of talking about toxic people in my readings, but it keeps coming out, you know, and I'm not going to like ignore it just because I'm talking about it so much. I talk about it on TikTok, YouTube, but if Spirit wants me um, to deliver the message that there's people watching you, there's people this or that, you know, whatever, or protect yourself or whatever the case may be, I'm going to say it, okay? But with this deception and envy card, I am seeing people from your past being hella, hella jealous of you, being very envious um a lot of you guys could be seeing 777 a lot 333 is what spirit is saying as well but yeah there's gonna be a lot of jealous people especially in the in the month of june july august september october like those they're highlighting me those months so i feel like within those months those are going to be your best months of this year is what spirit is showing me okay there's a lot of abundance and prosperity that's going to be blessed to you and it's like a lot of you guys don't see it a lot of you guys are kind of blinded to it as of right now is what spirit is showing me okay also with this take action card i feel like a lot of you guys um want to pursue something in a career um you want to start saving money to move out um you want to have your own business you want to do some sort of side hustle or you want to be in some in the public eye and the career that well, not that you want to be. I mean, maybe you guys do. But it's like a lot of you guys want to pursue some sort of career. And in this career, you're going to be in the public eye. Okay? And some of you guys are kind of like doubting like if it'll actually happen or whatever. It will. With the take action card, deception, celebration. Look at all these good cards. It's going to happen. But with the Seven of Pentacles right here, it's going to take some time, you guys. Okay? It really is going to take some time. We have Queen of Cups, the hair font, family, origin, soul family, groups. I'm seeing a lot of you guys going out with friends and family this year as well. 
some of you guys could be going on some sort of trip this year to the Caribbean. I'm seeing in my head Hawaii, Puerto Rico, somewhere that's very tropical is what Spirit is showing me. I'm also seeing some states. So I'm seeing the state California, Florida, Texas, New York, um, for some of you guys, Alaska. Um, but I am seeing there's going to be some people in here that are going to be tra traveling this year. This is what Spirit is showing me as well. Going to the bar or the club. You guys, you're going to have so much fun this year. Like, honestly, you're going to have a ball this year. Like, I feel like possibly like the first few months of 2023, like up until March, like I feel like it was dragging ass. Like, I feel like it was boring or like not a lot of things were happening for you within the next, I mean, within the first few months of 2023. And now things are gonna start picking up you know i see things picking up especially with this take action card i'm seeing things picking up and i'm also seeing for my singles in here i'm seeing new love coming towards you this year as well like there's so much good things coming your way like holy cow pile number one like you got a whole twin flame coming in. Like, either some of you guys already met this person and you're crushing hard on this person. I'm only talking to my singles in here. You're crushing hard on this person. And if you guys are single, you know, and you haven't met anybody yet, I'm seeing you having a big ass crush on someone. I'm seeing. Um, the person is, you know, the feelings are going to be mutual is what Spirit is saying as well. Like, oh my gosh, pile number one. For a lot of you guys, you're getting into a new relationship, but I don't see this relationship happening until the end of 2023, like around, they're showing me like September. Also, um, some of you guys could be Virgo because I see some people in here that are born in the month of September. Remember, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Different messages for different people. But a lot of you guys are getting, all you guys, honestly, you're getting some sort of public recognition, celebration. I'm just seeing so much people being happy for you. I'm seeing people from your past, even trolls or like haters on social media being envious of you because they want what you got. I'm also seeing there's going to be some people as well, like being, I feel like this is already happening. There's some people that are jealous of your looks, is what Spirit is saying as well. Anything else? And basically with the Queen of Cups and this Compassion card, um, you're getting all this good karma and all, this, all these blessings because you're a good person. You know, they're saying that you're such a pure hearted soul. And when you really care for someone, you will do everything in your power to help them. And a lot of these people that were in your life, they took advantage of you. And it's like all the good karma is coming to you in 2023. All the times that you helped someone out, all the times that you were genuine and honest to someone you know all these good things that you've done for people and you know whatever it doesn't go unrecognized universe god you know the universe god your spirit guides your angels your ancestors they see everything that you do how you treat people or whatever and it's all coming back to you this year in 2023 is what spirit is showing me okay this is such a good freaking greeting, you guys. Wow. And yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. I'm going to dig deeper on my Patreon to see what else is going to come towards you in 2023. 
Um, so if you would like to purchase my extended reading membership, um, my Patreon is linked below. Um, it's only $11 a month, $11.11 per month. And if I was you, honestly, I would pur purchase the membership. You know, on my Patreon, I post extended readings two to three times a week. Um, each month, by the end of the month, um, I will do a raffle to see... Um, the raffle is basically I do a raffle once a month for someone to win a free personal reading with me that is 20 minutes they can ask whatever question that they want and it's a pre-recorded reading so you can hear it whenever you want if you have like anxiety or whatever you don't have to worry about that because the reading will be sent to you um and you'll with the um patreon membership you also get discounts on personal readings that not all my followers on TikTok, YouTube, you know, Instagram, they won't get to see those discounts. Only my people that are, you know, subscribe or they paid for the membership on Patreon. So yeah, that's what I got for you, pound number one. If you want to look at the extended link is in um link is in my bio. Um Remember, $11 per month for my membership. Um, if this resonated, comment how it resonated. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next reading. Remember, um, subscribe, click that bell notification to get notified every time I upload a new YouTube video. And yeah, bye, pal number one. For the people that selected pile number two on YouTube and you want to know um, what are some of the blessings, major blessings that's coming towards you this 2023, um, this is your pile. Let's see. Okay. I already pre-shuffled your cards and I've already pre-shuffled your oracle cards and I have not looked at them just yet. Okay. We have King of Pentacles. We have two of swords. We have ten of swords. We have queen of cups. We have knight of pentacles reverse. And we have the five of pentacles. Okay. Let's see what we got. We have crown chakra in reverse. We have axe your angels. We have career. We have ice king. And then we have Throat chakra. Okay. okay. So if you want to fast forward this reading, feel free to do so. But yeah. I need to meditate on these cards real quick. So guys, give me a moment. Thank you so much. Okay, so if you selected pile number two, I am seeing something regarding your finances, okay? So either you've been unlucky when it comes to work, maybe you find jobs that you feel like isn't really for you. Remember, um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you feel like this is not your pile, because a lot of the times we end up picking the wrong pile, um, choose a different pile. Okay. 
but there's an energy of you either struggling with bills, money, finances, or like let's say you recently just got fired or you quit a job or something along those lines like that. I am seeing with the King of Pentacles and this career card right here, I am seeing a lot of you guys finding your dream job, like pursuing either some sort of career, um, getting hired. Like I am seeing that the universe is going to bless you with, um, or like, let's say you want to start your own business. Like I just see you doing really well financially. I feel like some of you guys could have grew up possibly in like poverty or like maybe when you lived with family or you know whatnot um you didn't really have that much food in the fridge i don't know why i'm seeing that like i'm seeing like um they're showing me something about like food stamps hold on i'm seeing some people could have got like a tax their tax return already or something along those lines like that like either your tax return tax return or you're waiting on that but yeah like i'm seeing um i'm seeing a lot of you guys getting a real good job okay and i don't see you having to worry about money okay that's what spirit is showing me hold on let me channel a little bit more i'm also seeing there's some people watching this right now like you feel unlucky when it comes to love like maybe You've been online dating or talking to people or whatever, but you feel like every time you talk to someone or you get involved with someone, it just doesn't work out, um, is what Spirit is showing me as well. And I'm seeing by this year, I do see, um, I am seeing that you're going to get into either a relationship or I see you finding someone that is, that you're really going to be head over heels over. Like, that's what Spirit is showing me, okay? For Zodiacs, I'm seeing Aries, Leo, Capricorn, Gemini, Scorpio, Strong Scorpio, um, Aquarius, and Taurus. Sun, Moon, are Rising. Wow. Anything else? Let's see what else. I feel like someone could have ghosted you lately. Like, or like you ghosted someone. Like, there's someone, either you cut off someone lately or someone ghosted you. There's some, there's, they're saying something about someone ghosting the other person. Hmm. Spirit is saying to not worry about this, okay? I feel like there's like, you give off this energy like you've been feeling really alone lately. Like, because I'm seeing the hermit in my mind's eye. So you could be feeling very introverted, very, for some of you guys could be loneliness, sadness because you feel lonely um but i'm just seeing like eventually in the future like i see a lot of you guys having like getting into some sort of like new relationship having a family like that's what i'm seeing and i see a lot of you guys like having some sort of career that's going to bring you a lot of abundance money like that's what spirit is saying Okay, so we have crown chakra in reverse. 
And then we have ask your angels. So I feel like you've been wanting clarity either when it comes to work or a specific person. Or let's say you want to manifest something but you don't know how to do it. Or new love or there's something that you want clarity on and their spirit is saying that you need to ask your angels for guidance they're saying that you need to ask your angels your ancestors your spirit guides either to talk to you you know because believe it or not they're around us all the freaking time okay and we could talk to them they speak to us through our dreams through our intuition, either through meditation, um, angel numbers, like, or you could tell them, give me a sign. Either they'll send you an angel number, they'll send you um, feathers or, you know, like they're always around you and you could talk to them, you know? And it's like, I feel like your spirit guides want you to start talking to them more because they have a lot that they want to tell you. You need to be with your crown chakra in reverse um, I feel like some of you guys are not, um, like some of you guys that are watching this right now, like either you just started getting into tarot or you're not really used to being in the spiritual community is what spirit is saying as well. And spirit is saying like, you need to start like opening up to spirituality, you know? That's what that's what uh, my my spirit guides are saying. But yeah, King of Pentacles in the career, like I just see a lot of you guys getting some sort of like, I just see a lot of you guys getting a real good job this year, you know, and like, let's say you already have a good job. Like, let's say like you just got this new job, like I'm seeing like. You getting some sort of raise is what spirit is saying as well. What else are they saying? I feel like a lot of you guys are still also healing from some sort of heartbreak. Because with the two of swords, ten of swords, and the queen of swords, some of you guys could still feel like you're gonna get back with this person because there's this energy remember this i this message is not gonna resonate for everybody but there's this energy of like denial not really accepting that things are actually over is what spirit is showing me and i feel like a lot of you guys need closure um or you need to give yourself closure i don't know why that's popping in this reading but i see this year i see you getting closure Okay, either if it's finally giving yourself closure through like meditation, you getting closure through a dream, you getting closure through the your ex or whatever, or you could you you don't need closure from an ex. You could even give yourself closure. Like I see you getting some sort of closure and letting go of some sort of resentment, grudge or whatever that you have towards someone is what spirit is saying as well. We have throat chakra and crown chakra in reverse. So with the throat chakra, I'm seeing this year. If you struggled with like anxiety or like not speaking up for yourself or um, let's say when you're in large crowds, you get anxious or like, let's say you go out in public, you get anxious. I see that going away, going away a lot this year. I'm seeing a lot of you guys making new friends this year as well. A lot of the social anxiety, a lot of you guys dealt with or like, um, not having much friends or this loneliness. Like I see a lot of that going away this year. I'm seeing a lot of you guys feeling more confident. I'm also seeing some of you guys feeling more confident because you're either losing weight or like let's say you're, you want to gain weight. I see you gain that weight. 
um, gaining muscle is what spirit is saying as well. I'm also seeing someone moving to an apartment, getting their own place, or like a house. My left ear is ringing right now. <laughs> but yeah. So that is some of the major blessings that's coming towards you this 2023. If you would want, if you want an extended reading on what major blessings is coming towards you, purchase my membership on Patreon. It's only $11 a month with this membership. You get extended readings two to three times a week. You get discounts on personal readings and your name will also be entered in a raffle once a month by the end of the month. Um to get a chance to win a free personal reading with me um but yeah okay link is in the bio for that if this reading um resonated comment how it resonated i love reading you guys's comments even if i don't respond to some and i respond to some of them like i read all the comments okay on youtube um but yeah, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this reading until the next video. Remember, keep um, tap that bell notification to get notified every time I upload a new YouTube video and make sure you guys are subscribed. Bye. Um, and also, if you're planning on purchasing my Patreon, I'll see you guys in the extended reading. Bye. So, um, you guys, I was recording and then my phone died. So I'm just going to re-record what I said. Um, and I also felt kind of disconnected from the reading. And it makes sense because I guess my phone was about to die. So uh, for the people that selected pile number three with this beautiful crystal heart, um, we have Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Page of Cups, The Fool, The Chariot, The Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Triumph and Success, Past Love, Acts for Help from Others, and we have Spiritual Growth. So, okay, right away, okay, now the energy, I now I'm feeling more connected. Some of you guys could have went through childhood trauma, or you could have gotten bullied, or like, you felt like, this is like energy from, you know, when you were a child, of course, or like you felt like you never really fit it in is what spirit is showing me as well. That's not for all of you. Remember, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm not always going to continue saying, well, that doesn't have to resonate. That doesn't have to resonate. Like you, a lot of you guys should already know that not everything I say is going to resonate because there's, this is not a personal reading. If you would like a personal reading, link is in my bio. Um, I'd get one ASAP because I am not doing personal readings in the month of May and um, I might be fully booked within the next few days for personal readings, okay? But yeah. A lot of you guys could have like gotten through like went through some sort of childhood trauma and like as like I'm seeing something like a lot of you guys could have like borderline personality disorder or um, like maybe like as if you were growing up, you struggled with like confidence issues, self-esteem. Um, and also I'm seeing with the seven of pentacles and the four of pentacles, a lot of you guys were in a very like long term relationship that was unhealthy. And it's like with the four of pentacles, you didn't know how to let go of this person. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this could be like a trauma bond um, is what spirit is saying as well. Else. either you're still i'm seeing a lot of you guys you're still in this toxic relationship or you're still talking to this person and spirit wants you you know to move away from this person is what spirit is saying you know i'm seeing a lot of you guys letting go of this connection this year 
and it's like with the page of cups in the full like i just see you moving on focusing on yourself i see a lot of you guys creating a new chapter in your life i see a lot of you guys this year switching up your hair dyeing your hair cutting your hair um getting braids or a wig um getting a new wardrobe um i'm also seeing a lot of you guys quitting a job and getting another job that you're going to like more um if you're at a job i'm seeing something like either you not liking um the schedule of your job or like something to do with your job that you don't like is what spirit is showing me and i'm seeing that changing for you this year um that's a blessing you know when you know your schedule your career improving i don't know how um i don't know how, what i'm saying bro it's like one in the morning right now but let's see what else i'm seeing a lot of you guys getting a new car this year with the fool and the chariot um there's some people watching this that don't have their driver's license and i'm seeing some people getting their driver's license this year but there's an energy of you like cutting like a lot of people off this year or like deleting people, blocking people or like not entertaining people from your past that like took you for granted is what spirit is showing me or like distancing yourself from people that are not good for you. And I'm just seeing you in this unbothered ass energy like you're just like, yeah, I don't even care about these people like they could post about me they could do whatever they want i i really don't care like like that's the type of energy i'm getting you know like very unbothered <laughs> is what spirit is showing me and i'm seeing like someone from your past with the seven of swords and the nine of swords like someone from your past wanting reconciliation wanting another chance with you but i just see that you're not going to be interested okay and i'm not just seeing that this is an ex this is also this could be like a brother i don't know why i'm they're saying brother um this could be a family member this could be an um, an ex this could be a friend this could be a co-worker but there's an energy of you not talking to someone anymore and you w building a whole new chapter for yourself so the biggest major blessing that's coming towards you this year is you finding yourself um you developing a lot of self-love self-worth and i feel like you know how they say that love blinds you so there's an energy of you kind of being blinded by love is what spirit is saying as well and it's like there's an energy of you taking off um the rose colored glasses and being like oh my god i was with this person like what what was i doing you know like that's the energy i'm getting like i see a lot of you guys finding yourself healing um letting go of people that are not good for you um i'm seeing a lot of people moving this year as well i'm seeing moving i'm seeing a new card like a whole new chapter is about to begin in your life and i feel like for some of you guys it's a it's it's already started okay i see a lot of you guys with the spiritual growth card i see a lot of you guys evolving spiritually um this, i i keep getting for a lot of you guys you could be going through a spiritual awakening this year if you don't know what a spiritual awakening is i google it because i'm not going to explain you know what it is because it's a lot it's a lot um eventually like when I get a new camera and I get good editing software, I'm going to make spiritual videos aside from tarot. But yeah. Okay. We have past love acts for help from others. So I'm seeing a lot of you guys pursuing something this year that I feel like a lot of you guys are not going to tell people what you're doing. It's kind of going to be like a surprise like once you um complete like once you succeed on whatever you're doing like i it's like an energy of like hustling in silence and i see once you um 
get some sort of like, I don't know if it's like a certificate or like a job or you're saving money or whatever you do, what you're trying to do, like whenever this comes into fruition, um, I'm just seeing like people kind of being surprised, like, wow, this person did so-and-so and you know, whatever. I feel like a lot of you guys are either thinking about doing something and not telling people or you're already doing this is the spirit is showing me and i'm seeing that coming into fruition for you this year especially with this triumph success card um a lot of you guys could be getting into meditation crystals chakras um tarot readings like you're watching this tarot reading as of right now um it's like a lot of you guys are realizing that there's more to the matrix there's more to the 3d there's the fourth dimension the fifth dimension and the fourth and the fifth dimension talks about the spiritual realm you know um and there's more to the fourth and the fifth there's the sixth dimension the seventh dimension the eighth dimension the ninth dimension You're like there's a lot of dimensions okay but we're in the third dimension right now and i feel like a lot of you guys are being aware that there's a lot of things that could also suck your energy out. So, like, even if it's drinking, smoking, um, watching pornography, or, like, let's say if it's doing drugs or hanging around with people that are not good for you or, you know, that type of energy. Like, I see a lot of you letting a lot of that go or hanging around like I just said that or being in a relationship let's say you know that is not good for you like I just see you choosing yourself and letting go of things that are not good for you and the the biggest blessing that's coming towards you this year is you finding yourself loving yourself putting yourself first because I feel like for a very very long time you put yourself on the back burner I feel like a lot of you guys lost yourself um, but I see a lot of you guys finding yourself as the spirit is saying as well. But let's see anything else. I feel like with the seven of swords and the nine of swords, like you dealt with a lot of people that were very deceptive, sneaky, lying, especially an ex. Um, but I am seeing that um, this year, these people, I'm seeing a, especially an ex, like I am seeing someone really regretting treating you like trash. And with the fool, I just see you not caring. Like, you're just going to be like, okay, and bye. Like, you don't even exist to me no more. Like, that's the type of energy I'm getting. Like, you're just done. Like, you're just like, yeah, I'm done. Goodbye. Like, that's that's what I'm feeling. And I'm feeling with the Seven of Pentacles, especially if this is a relationship, you tried so hard to work on this connection. And... You know, they really didn't put any effort and, you know, they kind of just did it to themselves. Like, a lot of people think that people are always going to chase them, look for them, beg, plead. Eventually, people get tired. There's a lot of people, most people, they eventually get freaking tired and they'll move on. And they'll realize, why the fuck was I begging this person or telling this person how to treat me or why did I put so much effort I mean of course it's because we were in love but like there's an I just see like you opening up your eyes and you're just like yeah this person wasn't shit like I'm just gonna like move on you know um anything else I feel like Especially if this is an ex, I feel like this person caused you some sort of trauma. And if this is like a relationship where it's like your person's like detached or not showing a lot of emotion or something along those lines like that, I just see you moving on with the fool. Like you're just done with it. Um... But yeah, I see a lot of you guys are going to have like some this 
big ass major glow up this year. I see a lot of you guys focusing on your looks, going to hitting the gym, um, losing weight or gaining weight. If you want to gain weight, um, gaining muscle, getting a booty, you know, like that's the type of energy I'm getting. I don't know why I'm just seeing someone that's watching this reading as a big butt. Like, I don't know what, <laughs> why spirit is showing me that, but okay, go off. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I just see like a major glow up. And I just see you like detaching from people or a person that's not good for you and focusing on yourself and, you know, moving on. But yeah, that's one of the major blessings that's coming in for you that are, you know, I mean, I meant to say those are the major blessings that's coming in for you. Um, this year, pile number three, if you would like to watch the extended reading, link is in my bio for the extended reading. It's only $11 per month, um, $11 and 11 cents per month. I post extended readings every, um, um, every week, two to three times a week is, um, oh my God, I'm so sorry, you guys, like I'm out of breath. My throat is hurting. I'm tired. I meant to say I post extended readings two to three times a week on my Patreon. Um, I also do a raffle once a week for someone to win a free personal reading with me. They can ask me any question. They'll get a pre-recorded reading um, that's sent to them so they could watch the reading whenever they feel like it. And um, on my Patreon, people will also get discounts that not everyone can get on like you know youtube tiktok instagram like those are just only for people on my patreon but yeah you guys thank you so much for watching this reading make sure you comment if this reading did resonate make sure to comment how it resonated um make sure you're subscribed click that bell notification to get notified every time i upload a new youtube video and follow me on TikTok, Blue.Dream333. Follow me on Instagram, Blue.Dream333. I mean, my Instagram is CC Vibrations. My bad. <laughs> guys, my mind is all over the place. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye.